Update 4 titled Pride of the Valley has just dropped today and with it came two characters I know everyone is familiar with and is super excited to bring over to their valley. In this guide I'm going to show you all exactly how to get Nala and Simba. If you would all consider dropping a like on this video and subscribe to the channel it would mean so much to me. Now, the first step to unlocking this is to actually unlock their realm door for 10,000 Dreamlight which is located in the Dreamlight Castle. Upon entering the realm, you'll be met with a brief opening scene of Simba enjoying life and Nala being swarmed by hyenas. You'll then go up and start a conversation with Nala where she will ask you to dig out the dried thorn bushes and find thorn seeds. You'll then need to take those seeds and plant them in the holes near the ledge, water them, and they'll grow large enough to keep the hyenas out. After watering them, Nala will come flying in, stick a superhero landing, and thank you for your help. Our next objective is to clear the entrance to the cave that leads to the jungle. You can do this with your upgraded royal shovel. You then need to enter the jungle, speak with Nala, and she'll tell you that we need to find Simba. To do this, you need to lower the log near the waterfall, which can be done by breaking the rock close by. We're then going to go up the log and load into another zone where you will encounter Simba. Talk to him, let him know that you're friendly, and follow him back to Nala. They'll have a short conversation about being hungry and Simba has a secret recipe he wants us to make. Here we'll help him gather the ingredients. To do this we need to fish up three slimy bugs which you will see in the river beside you and then back through the cave where you originally found Nala, dig up dig spots until you get enough colorful bugs to make this recipe. You should get two bugs per dig hole. Return to Simba and he'll tell you that we have just a few more bugs to get. Next, head to the next section where you found Simba and dig up a stump. This will start a pretty fun mini game that you will have to chase down six red bugs and press your interact key to pick them up. They're pretty fast, but the area they're in is pretty small. Once we have all the ingredients, it's time to go to the cooking station that is located in the jungle and make three plates. Enjoy your meal together and then it's time to head back to the valley and talk to Scrooge. We're looking to obtain something that will scare away the hyenas for good and Scrooge decides that the best thing is a sound system. Get the sound system from Scrooge, return to the Lion King realm and bring the sound system to Nala. Here her and Simba will roar into the mic as loud as they can chasing off all the hyenas in the area. After completing this head back to the valley and place down pride rock in any location of your choosing. It's going to cost you 10,000 Dreamlight, and then you can go and welcome Nala to the valley. Upon speaking to her, she'll let you know that Simba said he'll come to the valley later as something is bothering him and he wants some alone time. Rather than respecting his wishes, we take it upon ourselves to go ask Simba what is wrong. Simba tells you that everything going on is just bringing up a lot of bad memories and he misses his father. Simba feels like he's not worthy of being a king and wishes Mufasa was there to help guide him. After an emotional conversation, Simba wants you to follow him so he can show you something. Simba takes you to a cliff so you can view the stars, but he says the clouds are always blocking the view lately and it really bothers him. You believe that Merlin can help take care of this issue for you, so it's time to go talk to him. Merlin believes if you get an item that holds a lot of meaning to Simba, that'll wash away the magic in the clouds and he can enjoy the stars. You then need to gather a few basic ingredients and craft Rafiki's walking stick at the crafting bench under the potion and enchantment tab. Take the stick back to Simba who is at the same location and place the stick in the pedestal. This washes away the clouds and Simba is big happy again. Follow Simba to the dry oasis where you originally encountered Nala and you'll have a short conversation about how he wants to restore the oasis to the beautiful land it was before. Here you will need to search the two locations in the jungles for seeds. These can be dug up with the royal shovel and can be pretty tricky to find. Once completed, head back to Simba and he'll tell you to plant them around the oasis. You can place them wherever you want or in the same spot. Just plant them, water them, and then head back to Simba again. Now it's time to break the rock that's located by the waterfall, which will start a cutscene filling the pond with water. Once this is completed, head back to the valley, welcome Simba, and have an awkward conversation where you inform him that Scar is alive and well and he's been hanging around the village. Simba is upset by this, but he says he's just going to avoid him because Scar makes his bad memories resurface. From here, you can level up Nala and Simba, do their quest line, collect their exclusive friendship items, and bring them treats inside of their home at Pride Rock. 
That's it for this video. I hope it helped and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.